Hey guys, so I'm starting out with some latex and just a sponge and it's dirty just because it's gonna get worse once I use the latex. So I just applied this all over where I wanted the mouth to be. So just above my nose and around my cheeks and my chin. And then I went over that with uh, tissue paper. And I quickly realized that you have to do this in small sections because the latex dries quite quick. So I'd done this process about three times before I got it to the thickness that I liked it at. And you have to remember to let it dry in between each layer as well, otherwise it just will not dry. Then I just went over that with a final layer of latex. As that was drying, I went in and started my eye makeup. Then I went in with my MAC paint pot in Painterly and I just applied this all over my eyes. And then I go in with Makeup Geeks Beaches and Cream. And then I applied this to my upper crease area. and blend that all out. Then I went in with this deep brown colour and it's got some purple tones to it and I applied that pretty much in the same place that I applied the Beaches and Cream. I just wanted to deeper, deepen up that crease and I blended this out as well. I brought this down to the bridge of my nose as well, just the top part. I just wanted my eyes to look a bit sunken in. Then I went in with this gorgeous champagne kind of colour and I applied this to my lid area. Then I went in with a black and a small definer brush and I just went in and further deepened my crease. And then I didn't feel like um, the champagne colour done enough on my lid, so I just went in with a white. Then I took my super black buster and I just applied this all over my lid. Um, I done a tiny bit of a flick, I didn't want anything too dramatic. Then I proceeded to take up the first bit of the latex and I just this is just going to make the melt look open. And I felt like it was too um, flat against my face. So I just put some rolled up tissue in just to make it pop out a bit more. Then I went in with some Contrice Ultimate Moisturising Foundation. And this foundation is about two or three shades darker than my skin. And I done that purposely because I didn't feel like my lighter one that I normally use will go over the latex as good. So I just applied this all over my face and I also brought it down on my neck and all along that area there just so I wasn't like an orange face and a white neck. Then I went in with these Snazaroo face paints and I got these from Little for 5 euros and they're only small but they're great. 
So first I went in with the red and I mixed that with a tiny bit of the brown because the red was very bright. But I felt like that wasn't dark enough so then I also went in with the black and I decided later on that the black was probably a better colour so I made it darker and darker. Then I went in and started applying the teeth and I made these teeth by um, sharpening my nails, my fake nails that I had lying around and they actually worked out great. I wish they were a little bit longer. If I had done this again, um, I would have got longer nails. But anyway, I just applied these by applying a little bit of latex to the top of them and then sticking them to the latex mask. Then I realized I had um, a lot more nails left over, so I just started squeezing them in wherever I could. And I just set that black face paint with some black eyeshadow. And I also set my face with just some setting powder that I got from Catrice. I then pulled the mask um, outwards because I felt like the teeth were very flat against my face. And I also went in and finished my eye makeup. And I just applied that deep brown colour at the start just underneath my eyes. And I also wanted my eyes a little bit bigger, so I applied some white eyeliner. Then I went in with Catrice Cosmetics Better Than False Lashes Mascara, and I just applied this to my top and bottom lashes. Then it was time for blood. So I just got this at a pound shop, a Halloween shop. It was called Vampire Blood. <clears throat> and I started off by dabbing it all over the mask and all over the teeth. Then I started applying some just dripping off my face and word of caution, have something on your lap and something to catch the drip so I learned that the hard way. I used whatever was left on the tissue just to put all over my face then and I decided to bring some down on my neck as well and I rubbed some into my hands but I'm regretting it now because they are stained. So that is it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next one. Bye!